Hi, this is Rachel again from Quirky Baby. Uh, this week's Tweak of the Week, I'll be talking about May ties. The May tie I'll be using is a Baby Hawk May tie, though a lot of my tips will work for any kind of May tie you're using. Um, this week, I want to talk about how uh, baby wearers can adjust their May tie to be shorter or longer depending on the size and needs of your baby. When babies are itty bitty, if you're using a May tie, we often tie them high on our waist, um, umpire style, like an apron. And by tying it high on your waist, you're creating a really deep pocket uh, once baby gets put in the carrier. You can see that because I put that fabric up so high, that there's this really deep pocket that baby's sitting in. And because I'm using so much of that panel to form the pocket, the carrier's length is shorter. For those people who still feel that maybe their baby is even tinier and need even a smaller fit, most often times what you'll hear recommended is to try just folding the length of the May tie one time which shortens the length of the carrier. It would, it would be used the same way. And actually folding the length, especially with longer carriers like a toddler hawk or a catbird baby or a cozy, creates um, the ability to scrunch it a little bit better, I've always found, because of that flap. As baby gets bigger, you want to lengthen the, the panel of the May tie. And often what helps is by gradually tying lower and lower as baby gets taller and longer. So by the time I have a heavier kiddo or a toddler, I might, if I'm doing a front carry, tie down closer to the top of my hips around my natural waist. And by tying lower, I'm going to be pulling more fabric up in the panel. There's still a pocket there for baby to sit in. There's a pocket between the waistband and the bottom of the panel. It's just not as deep as when it was tied up higher. So when you put baby in a longer panel, and I'm pulling up on the top to make it nice and long and supportive, You can see how that lengthened the body of the carrier just by tying it lower. Again, baby's still seated in a pocket of the carrier, except I have much more of this panel to go under baby's legs, up around their bum, and over their back. And from here, you would just tie off. You can use this with any May tie. Also with buckle May ties, like the piccolo, same idea. You would just buckle it higher for a little baby, and when you needed more length, you would just gradually buckle lower and lower to get the length you needed. I hope that was helpful.